Esta carta la matamos, aquí ya mismo. ¿Eh? Y no, fue en el sitio de la batalla, mamá, si fue en el campo de la batalla, 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 This thing about protecting the government that has nothing to do with it. So that's why we need to be strong all the way through. Chikanga wa kore, kano kwa kumi mkide kwa yu no. Of course because you will not, you will not comprehend because you have not seen how they were used to be before. Kumaita kumene ji okarabako. Taona, mene. That Chikanga wa kore is It has been misused and defeated. My fire men of the Japanese are full of hope. And one of, one of the causes of the environmental depletion is wildfire. I'm sure you have read in some of your books. Eh? Wildfire. Setting bushes, setting fire to bushes kills a lot of insects, my animals, the monotigon, kanichani, you kill so many lives when you set fire in, in a bush. A lot of ecosystem ecology is get damaged. You know, every living item in, in the bush has a, a reason to exist. A lion has a reason to exist. A snake has a reason to exist. And so on and so on. Will you be able to explain, for example, what is the importance of a snake in a, in a bush? Ini yang kita perlu berikan kepada orang yang akan mengambil kami. Kumpul yang orang yang akan berikan kepada orang yang akan mengambil kami. Kumpul yang orang yang akan berikan kepada orang yang akan mengambil kami. Tapi dalam sesuatu yang sangat penting, itu tidak berlaku pada hari ini. Ada insekt yang jika tidak ada insekt di sana, mereka akan berlaku feeding on mba 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 wa kutu nyama kutu in amena na mati amena nisha 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 kutu tu maa tu maa kutu nyama kwa kukura tu mtu mchile mwede mwati ya nisina tu maa antiro tu maa antiro kwa wadena There are a lot of tribes which will kill those animals. But if you have snakes, snakes will actually capture it, reduce their population. So a guapi can can multiply.
inuyo mufuna mte bredi ima ili wa bredi using this big river which passes through your bredi inuyo ili ni bredi wa chidipa jano jati kubwaji and you want a lot of water you you have no right to stop us kudima kwa siri you can't the law is with you if you are the king of that is the first which is a very important so we must be equitable as if you want to access the water do that we have a problem of water this is one of the role of role of law eh? ndani ya kama kwani kuna ni mbele ya rais yake one law as for all the roads you are writing down one is promoting equitable access to environmental resources that's what the law provides that's one of the roles of the law providing or promoting equitable access to environmental resources fine they and uh, give you example of a every person by your village But here in Malawi, we are going to go now some of these rights being violated. This thing is really about access to resources, especially in Nyanja. If you go to Mangochi, you go to Kaka, you can't even be home, not in the Mangos. You find people are there now, among the Baroja. You know, when you build a road, you, you are, you are lead. Yamaro Sibida Mbaka Mnyanja The beaches, all the beaches in Yorawa are public The lake is public The beaches are public Then you find the city of Vena or Mbaka Marochi Because Kayamina are over with the Mbaka Marochi 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 You can be 
and the parliament passes that draft uh, uh, whatever into law. And that law, for example, might say, let's create a, a provincial sport. And provincial sport. Then you have got a director, blah, blah. You find the, you know, the president's office announcing uh, the constitution of the board, of the board members in the provincial board. So those hearings, a policy has become a legislation. Okay? It has become a legislation. Now it has become a law against pollution or whatever, or penalizing people who are community. So the polluter pays, for example, and one thing to me. Now you have a board, which is going to do that. Then, you can see now that you have, now we can start discussing a law, a particular law on pollution, but it is about environmental protection, right? So it's an environmental law on environmental protection, but it's dealing with pollution as one of the environmental challenges. So this, this issue, you have so much to talk about. We have so much to talk about. It can be something to do uh, with water extraction, for example. So you have the Water Resources Act to protect the resource for the water. A lot of malaria, unfortunately. I know we have the Water Resources Act in Malawi, but a lot of malaria, unfortunately, they don't know about that law. <laughs> in number of people, you see me, in the Bano, in Matunga, that's the case, you know. You are supposed to go and get a baby.
keep on talking and talking and talking. There are many of these uh, laws that are made basically to protect the environment and sustain uh, achieve sustainable development, promote sustainable development. Any questions so far? Any questions? You know, countries such as India, they have not just meetings, they have not pollution boards, they have pollution control boards. So you show that respect by 
making sure that you are using those standards, methods, those agreements into your local laws. Okay? So, um, uh, these international agreements usually they are called conventions. Eh? I'm sure you are ahead of the convention. So, there will be a convention on biological diversity, a uh, convention on uh, waste management, a uh, convention on um, waste disposal, convention on control and pollution. So these are like international uh, documents or treaties that allow you to sign it, as I did it. So you implement local laws to reflect those agreements that you have made internationally. So there is that international uh, aspect about these laws. And some of for example, some of uh, uh, these laws uh, have to deal with uh, transboundary environmental issues. Okay? So, transboundary issues. Um, what, what are some of the environmental resources that are transboundary? That go across the border? Air is one, right? Water. Okay? Sometimes even in forest, forest. Or sometimes wildlife. Especially in Africa where our boundaries are not faced. You know, if you go to Mozambique, who can be better than human power? There are no <laughs> so the world right moves from this side to the other. So when you are doing this environmental protection laws, uh, be aware of this transboundary issues. It could be water that is extreme running uh, through Mozambique or from Mozambique. So if you want countries doing something, can produce the whole river or make the whole river dry up just by the action for one country. So this trans, trans uh, boundary issues have to be taken into account in uh, at the international level. Sometimes these corporations are uh, not just between countries. Sometimes non-state actors, NGOs, or international organizations. Okay? They, sometimes they are also involved. For example, one, one good example we have here now is the Viva the Nika. Game is there. There is a cooperation between Malawi and Zambia because Vaza and Nika, some parts of it are in Zambia. So Zambia has to cooperate. And so even the donors, those who want to support us in the environmental conservation of that area, when they give a project, that project is given to both Malawi and Zambia. So there are projects, the Secretariat and blah blah blah, it's it's a managing both Malawi and Zambia. And the donor knows that this is a trans boundary project. Helping two countries at the same time. Because otherwise, if you don't, in Yamar, the Dakota we see who that is the Sanja side. If the Sanja side is there, it's our upper position. Or we see who that is the Sanja side. What do you think? So you 
Philip go for it. To protect him.